guys, Nurse Kat. I want to talk to you about ARDS um, as a complication for the critically ill as part of our ICU crash course. So top three manifestations of ARDS. So if you say ARDS, funny, it sounds like you're a pirate, right? ARDS. And who becomes pirates? Young lads. So the top three manifestations of ARDS in early onset can be remembered with L-A-D, lad. Looks weak, assess, you assess, low oxygen saturation, and probably rails or crackles, and they're disoriented. Lad, ARDS. Now, late symptoms of ARDS can be remembered with the acronym LATE. L, labored breathing. A, acidosis, metabolic in nature. T, tachycardia or tachypnea, and E, extremely tired. Complications of ARDS include um, pneumothorax or collapsed lung, for which your patient will likely have a chest tube, and permanent lung scarring and decreased alveoli function. Now, it's important to note that acute respiratory distress syndrome is a complication of other conditions, like sepsis, traumatic bleeding, pneumonia, or inhalations. It's not necessarily a symptom of anything. It's, it's an actual complication of other illnesses. Treatment for ARDS can be remembered with ARDS. A, antibiotics. R, respiratory support. D, diuretics to get fluid out of the leaky lungs. And S, situate to a prone position. Acute respiratory distress, on the other hand, is a symptom, not a condition like ARDS. They're both emergencies, though. Acute symptoms appear like nasal flaring, maybe wheezing, and the cause is often more clear, like a pulmonary embolism, ALS, or a drug overdose. And the initial treatment may be similar to ARDS at first, but the real treatment is correcting the problem.